The longest journey started with a single step for basketball pioneer Reynold Reyes. He immigrated to Canada in 1968, and his arrival brought positive change. We care deeply about the community. And in this case, for my dad, it was sports, it was basketball. In the early 1970s, brainstorming between shots was the beginning of something special. My dad and a group of friends would play basketball in the courts of Sergeant Park School. And one day they thought about, hey, why don't we have an organized league? You know, there's more immigrants, Filipino in this case, coming to Winnipeg. Reyes founded three volunteer-driven leagues and became the first president of the Philippine Basketball Association from 1973 to 1977. That was a routine pastime for Filipino families. Every Saturday, Sunday, they would want to watch basketball because it's, it's a popular game in the Philippines. In 1982, he formed the Barangay Organization of Manitoba and four years later, the Philippine National Youth Cagers League. You are our mentor, and on behalf of the kids in the 80s, you know, thank you for kicking that door. His son, John Reyes, a former MLA and cabinet minister, has fond memories of his father's vision to grow the game. And you've seen leagues, not, not just in Winnipeg, but in, in rural Manitoba, and they're not just Filipino players, they're actually players of all ethnicities and it's quite remarkable. Reyes and other trailblazers were in the spotlight at a Winnipeg Sea Bears game as part of Filipino Heritage Month. Reyes dreamed big enough to pave the way for others to achieve greatness. Canada West All-Star Sean Moranin is a member of the Winnipeg Westman. You know, I was born in 2000 and you know ever since I could remember there was always a Filipino league I was able to play in, able to watch and there's just so many young talent, so many young Filipino talent on the rise so I think we're just doing a great job of you know continuing what he started. We are proud to induct Reynold Reyes as a member of the class of 2024 into the Manitoba Basketball Hall of Fame.